demonstrate the shape of capillary rise in a wedge-shaped gap between two glass sheets. Aim to demonstrate the shape of capillary rise in a wedge-shaped gap between two glass sheets. Materials required Cleaned and dry two slides, rubber band, mat stick, petri dish, distilled water, granules of potassium permanganate, capillary tubes of different radius, clamps and stand, traveling microscope, pointer. Procedure Take two slides, clean and dry it well. Tie one end of pair of slides together with rubber band. Fix mat stick between free ends. Take dish, clean and dry it well. Fill half of dish with water. Add potassium permanganate for colouring. Clamp this arrangement on a stand. Dip this arrangement to water in the dish. Observe what happens. Observation Separation between two slides increases from tied end to the mat stick end. Capillary rise decreases as separation between slides increases. Demonstration Capillary rise using capillary tubes. Take capillary tubes of different radius and same length. Find radius of capillary tubes using traveling microscope. Place stand on the table. Fix capillary tubes together on capillary tube clamp. Place capillary tubes together as increasing order of radius of capillary tubes. Take dish, fill half of dish with water. Add granules of potassium permanganate for coloring. Place dish below capillary tubes. Adjust vertical stand so that capillary tube dip in the water. Adjust the pointer so that it just touches the surface of water. Find the capillary rise using traveling microscope. How capillary rise and radius of capillary tube is related? Observation and conclusion. As radius of capillary tube increases, capillary rise decreases. Capillary rise is inversely proportional to the radius of capillary tube. In summer, water rises through small tubes in soil. It is one example for capillary rise in daily life. Farmers do plough to avoid this. It helps to maintain moisture on soil.